G'day, I'm Ben Allen, and thanks for watching this little tour of the Grading Suite version 2. I'm just going to show you some of the highlights of the package and some of the differences from version 1. One of the big new things in version 2 of the Grading Suite is the four colour suites, which allow you to create a complete look within one filter. These four filters allow you to use essentially the same controls to create very, very different looks. The simplest of these filters is the Colour Temperature Suite, which as the name suggests, allows you to convert between tungsten and daylight or vice versa. A couple of things you'll notice in all of the colour suite filters is one that they're controlled by filter factors to control the intensity of the colour effect but also that they've got a built-in exposure corrector. As well as the exposure corrector each of these filters has what we've called sweet levels and this includes a clean setting which doesn't do anything to the levels a sweeten which basically just kind of lowers the, the shadows a bit, lifts the mid-tones and gives you a richer looking image overall and that's the default setting. As well as that there's a range of options from very low contrast right up to very high contrast and this gives you basically the levels equivalent of what the, the colour settings are doing in terms of giving you instant defaults to find uh, basically the look you want. And you'll notice that these controls are common across all of the colour suite filters. So if we have a look at the warm colour suite here, you'll notice the same controls basically there, but the, uh, the different colour choices. And you'll notice these colour choices are familiar to anyone who's used camera filters or talked about camera filters. And of course it's controlled by filter factors which are quick, easy and repeatable. The cool colour suite gives you the same options, uh, except with a range of cool coloured filters as the name suggests. This is all controlled by filter factors with an exposure corrector and the suite levels once again. In many ways our flagship filter has become the Color Suite Global which has 17 different looks inspired by different cities from around the world. And you can apply these looks, cycle through them uh, and experiment with completely different styles very very quickly. All of these Color Suite filters also have now a Pro version which comes as part of the Pro Kit and what the Pro version adds is manual trims to each of the parameters. So for example if we have a look at the the warm colour suite we have exactly the same controls with exactly the same effect. So for example if we select a tobacco uh, number three, do a bit of a crazy exposure adjustment here, we can then trim that with the manual controls and even to the extent of completely dialing out that, ex that crazy exposure correction and bringing it back to a normal looking image. In fact we can even do the same thing with the colour controls. We can use the red, green and blue trims to actually dial out the entire colour adjustment that we've just added in and get back to a neutral image. The great thing about this is that because these adjustments are cancelling each other out in mathematical space uh, and then being applied as a single colour adjustment uh, they have no effect whatsoever on the picture quality. So that gives you the freedom to use the presets to, to get in the ballpark of the look that you want, to get close to it and then use the trims to create the precise uh, look that you want for any particular shot or scene or project. And I think that gives you a lot of creative freedom to not have to worry about what the different elements of the process are doing to the picture quality, uh, but to, to just experiment uh, and not even worry if one element is cancelling another out because uh, the end result will be the best that it can look. One of the most popular filters from version 1 was the bleach bypass filter which we've made some improvements to and moved from the pro package into the standard kit and we've created a, uh, a pro version of the bleach bypass filter which introduces manual trims uh, for both exposure and also the elements of the bleach bypass effect. The day for night filter is another popular one from version 1 which made some improvements to and also created a pro version uh, again with the manual trims for the elements of that effect. One entirely new filter for version 2 is the black and white suite and as well as an exposure corrector and the suite levels, uh, what this filter has is red, green and blue colour correctors which affect the image before it's turned to black and white and this gives you the kind of control that you would have in a black and white dark room to put emphasis on different parts of the, the colour spectrum in the black and white image and you can create some really cool effects by using that. Another new filter is the mist suite which uh, has similar effect to mist and fog filters on a camera. Uh, it's also controlled by filter factors like the other filters in the package. 
And that's just a few highlights of the 26 filters that make up the grading suite version 2. Thanks for watching.